so now that we've coded our micro bit that's going to be connected to the container, it is now time to code the micro bit that's going to be our sort of alarm receiver. Um, for this code, we won't need our forever loop, so we can get that. Of course, we're going to do the same thing we did for the other code. So on start, we're going to go back into our radio and grab the radio group block, and we're going to set that to 100 to make sure that they are both in the same group and can receive messages from each other. Now, for this code, we're going to go back into our radio section, and in that, we're going to grab this block here on radio received, receive number. And if we go into our logic again, this time we can grab an if then block, not an if else, but an if then block. We're going to say if receive number, so under variables we have receive number, is equal to, and I think we had said 20 for the other one, if that message in the form of a receive number is equal to 20, then we want it to do something. And instead of it saying something, we would actually have it do like an X. That's an easy sort of symbol or message for us here in the tent to see that something's not right. So we have it showing these LEDs once it receives that message. And we also, because we have the buzzer connected, we want it to actually make a noise. So under music, we have things like play tone, all this sort of thing. We're going to grab the start melody block, click that in. And in there, we were sort of playing around with the different melodies. The jump up was kind of a fun one, so we're going to keep that. We're going to put that in there. And after that, we just go back in here and like we did with the other code, we're going to add a pause in there. Just so it takes a break before it asks the question again. And we're going to set this to one whole second. And if we go back into basic and under more, we're going to clear our screen as well. So that uh, whenever this is not going on, the screen is, is blank. And we know that everything is, is okay. So this is the code for our alarm receiver. Now we're going to name this. The other one I had named container, just quite simply. So we're going to name this food alarm, like so. And we can save it that way so that we can uh, um, send it over to our micro bit and be ready to go.